Hey everybody, Jim Cressman, Invictus Entertainment Group. Thanks to devices like this, the barriers to entry for artists are lower than they've ever been in history. Uh, you have an opportunity to get to a global mar marketplace like never before. But there still are gatekeepers in our industry. Hence, our special guest today, Rob Siernowski, VP here at Invictus, and also one of the top talent buyers, promoters, and club buyers for the past 20 years in Western Canada. Rob, if I've got a band and I'm not necessarily ready to put a bunch of asses in seats yet and sell the club out myself, what can I do to make a case to get on one of your stages? You have to bring some value, you know, I mean, it's so important whether it's uh, the ability to draw and you have a base crowd that you can bring to the table. Even or, if it's 50 people? Even if it's 50 people. I mean, in a support slot, that can make the difference of uh, selling those extra 50 tickets you need or 200 tickets that you need. I mean, uh, putting bums in seats is key. Uh, but, you know, other than that, there, there are other avenues too that add value. And, uh, you know, social media, for example, these days is extremely important. And that contributes to putting bums in seats as well, just to, you know, what your numbers are, what you can get them to. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it all adds up, but, you know, directly we want to see value to the brand, to the venue, to the event itself. And if you've got a social media following that's robust and engaged, that could potentially help. Um, let me ask you this. If I'm a band that not necessarily has uh, a lot of um, uh, a built-in fan base in any particular city, I don't have a robust social media following, what if I come to you with an out-of-the-box proposal like I will work for a portion of every ticket I sell you? So if I go, hey, I have five members in my band, we'll each take 20 tickets on consignment, we'll try and sell 100 tickets to your event. Is that type of idea attractive to you? It is. Uh, I mean, I've done that before, and, and, and the more innovative you can get, the better. I mean, uh, it shows how hungry you are. It also shows uh, your ability to go out there and hustle and draw. You know, obviously, talent speaks the loudest and the cream rises to the top. If you are that good, we'll hear about you. But, I mean, we got to build from somewhere. So, I mean, that might be a starting place. Mm -hmm. and, and that could, you know, perpetuate to, to higher social media numbers and, and greater success to being booked again. If you're booked at, at certain venues, you can go off that and use that to your credibility as a stepping stone to, you know, uh, approach other venues and say, we've opened for so-and-so, we've played this venue. These are the numbers we've drawn. I mean, you gotta start somewheres, so sometimes you gotta get innovative. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the name of the game when you're building any business, but especially a business that's as highly competitive as, uh, as the artistry game is within the context of the music business. Rob, thanks for taking the time to join us today. Thank you. Appreciate Jim. the valuable thoughts. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye.